everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today I have a dance teacher favorites for you and I just thought I'd talk about some of my favorite things that I've been enjoying I've got some clothes and shoes I've got some makeup and some tasty treats and a couple of random things as well so let's dive right on in why don't we start with the makeup because it's kind of a small ish pile um, the first thing I want to talk about is a tool a makeup tool um, I was able to get a free sample of the Thrive Cosmetics um, CC cream and they also sent this sponge this Thrive Cosmetics sponge and I freaking love this thing I really do I've been using it like non-stop for the last month I really do love this I think I love the flat side that it has and I just love the weight of it I love the the density of it it's not too hard it's not too soft I love that it doesn't um, absorb too much product although it does absorb some um, and I just really like the way it fits my face I really love this sponge quite a lot actually speaking of the Thrive Cosmetics CC cream it well it is their buildable buildable blur CC cream and I have the color light medium here um, I got two of these little sample tubes and this is my second one and it's almost gone and I'm sad because I really do like this. Um, this is comparable to the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. They are comparable. This does have an SPF in it. I can't remember. I think it's 50 but I'm not sure. I'll put it on the screen somewhere what the SPF in this is but I really do like it quite a bit. Um, I really do. I have also been enjoying the L'Oreal Paris Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream in the Anti-Fatigue. This has kind of a peachy undertone and I have really been loving it underneath my eyes as kind of a color corrector. It's not too thick so it doesn't like make my under eyes look cakey but it's just enough color to kind of help hide the um, dark circles. It doesn't completely get rid of them as you can see but it does help kind of take away some of the darkness also it's kind of nice just to put on and then put a dusting of uh, powder over the top when I don't want to wear a whole lot of makeup so that's really nice I again my L'Oreal Last Paradise um, in the waterproof this is black is black I believe yes black is black in the waterproof love this mascara love it I still want to try the essence last princess but I haven't been able to get my hands on it so I'm think I I, I think I'm just gonna have to either order it or just go up to Ulta because you know anyway I have also been trying this Voluminous Lash Paradise Liquid Eyeliner in, what's the color? Black. And I actually really do like this. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't budge, it doesn't move. I, I, I really have been enjoying it. And it's like an old school, it's old school eyeliner, so it's got the, the little dip pin and you, I really do like this. I do like this quite a bit you have to shake it there's a little ball in there and you have to shake it but I do like it all right now let's talk about my lips because I really have been enjoying the combination of a lip liner a nude lip liner with this dirty little secrets lip gloss in the color nude beach this is gorgeous I have on my lips right now this lip liner from wet n wild it is in the color willow and it's just a nude lip liner and there's the color right there um, I have this all over my lips and then I just put this lip gloss which is just a nice nude lip gloss on top of the lip liner I also like doing this with this um, lip liner from uh, Contour Cosmetics 
it's in the color stud and I have completely used this liner up let's see if I can get a swatch there it is it's a little bit darker than the wet n wild a little bit more brown but I did I loved this with that lip gloss over the top so pretty and then the last lip liner I have here is the wet n wild perfect pout gel lip liner in bear to comment and there's that one it's a little bit creamier but it's along the same kind of pinky nude with that lip gloss on top so stinking pretty that's what I've been loving on my lips lately all right guys so that is all of the makeup that I have for you now let's talk shoes okay, I actually have two pairs of shoes I want to share with you One's high-end, one's not. So I'm gonna share the not high-end with you first, then I'll share the high-end with you. So these are my not high-end shoes. They are, they're, they're kind of like Converse Chucks, Chuck Taylors, uh, but they are the Dollar General version. <laughs> um, paid eight bucks for these. They are by the brand Bobby Brooks. Yeah, so they're just like, Kind of like a converse chuck taylor kind of look and i really have been enjoying these quite a bit they're quite comfortable the other pair of shoes that i have been enjoying immensely are quite a bit more expensive those were eight dollars these are closer to 70 and they are my rose gold vans that i got during the nordstrom anniversary sale I actually got these at quite a steep discount. I think I only paid 40 for these maybe. Yeah. I think I paid 40. 35 or 40, I can't remember. But um, these are exclusive to Nordstrom, so the only place that you can get them is at Nordstrom. And I have been loving these as well. Just, they, they just look so pretty. Um, with just like jeans and a white t-shirt they are just mm, I love them all right now moving on to some clothing the first thing I'm going to share with you is a bra so yeah you know it is what it is every woman has to wear a bra but this one I got it um, where did I get this one I got this at Target so here's what it looks like it's just a nude bra it's by um, Warners and the thing I like about it is this panel that it has right here that holds the side boob in This thing is like magical. I love it. It sits correctly on my chest This sits just nicely on the sternum right here. I just really just love this bra. I think it's very comfortable <sighs> Anyway now leotards um, as a dance teacher, I'm in leotards like literally six days a week, sometimes seven. So the first leotard I have here is this one. It is by um, Body Wrappers. It's Body Wrappers. It's part of their Premier Collection, which is um, by Tyler Peck. And it's just this really pretty like fuchsia, magenta, pinky purple color I really do like it um, and it just has this like chiffon over the top it's just so pretty this with like a denim skirt and a like a little cardigan over the top is a cute little outfit with those vans adorable and nobody ever knows that you're in a leotard because it just looks like a cute shirt um, another favorite of mine is one that I've had for a while and this one is also by Body Wrappers and it's this red one and it is a halter neck. This one is also great. I really love this one. It's just very pretty and simple. I love wearing that on Wednesday for Red Lee. It's hard Wednesday. Hashtag. Right. <laughs> and then the last leotard I have for you is this leotard right here and it is by Capizio. And it's just this, um, oh dear. There we go. It's just this turquoise colored leotard. 
the thing I like about this leotard is that it is fully lined, like all the way around, front and back, all the way down, like completely lined. So that's nice. <laughs> and I love the color and it's just, it's very comfortable and I just love wearing this. And the last dancewear item I have is this pair, of, it's not really dancewear, but you know, I wear it for dance these black joggers that I got at Target. You can see them in my Target haul. They're very comfortable and I just love them. And they are by uh, the Massimo Supply Company from Target. They're very, very comfortable and I love them a lot. So that's kind of my dance wear stuff that I love. Right, my tasty treats that I have for you today, as always, RX bars. I love these things. These are great to throw in your purse or in your dance bag. They're a great little burst of energy, but they don't cause your blood sugar to spike and then drop because they've got uh, 12 grams of protein in them. These are just wonderful. They don't have any processed sugar. They're sweetened with dates, so I really do like them. Um, I love the chocolate sea salt, the maple sea salt, and the chocolate chip. I am dying to try the mint chocolate chip, but I haven't been able to find them, but I do want to try those. Um, I do also like the peanut butter, the chocolate peanut butter, peanut butter chocolate chip, or whatever it is. Those are really good, but if you saw my um, hypothyroidism video, I am trying not to eat peanut butter because it can... Um, interfere with the thyroid so I've stopped eating those but I do like the chocolate sea salt the maple sea salt and the chocolate chip those are all really really good another favorite of mine is these um, Lundberg brown rice organic rice cakes these are so good they have a little bit of salt on them they have a nice crunch and they kind of have a nuttiness to them because they're made with brown rice as opposed to white rice. But what I like doing with these is I used to put peanut butter on them, but since I'm trying not to eat peanut butter anymore for my thyroid, I've actually been putting almond butter on them, a little drizzle of honey, so yummy. Also Nutella or like a hazelnut, chocolate hazelnut spread of some sort is really, really good on these rice cakes as well and that's a really good um, snack or I sometimes I eat it for breakfast to be perfectly honest so good and then my last little tasty treat for you today is these Brookside dark chocolates these things are so good uh, I love them so much this is the acai and blueberry flavor I also like the raspberry, so yummy, so delicious. Um, yeah, this is like my sweet treat usually during the day. Um, yeah, I just don't know what else to say. They're just really good. Nice amount of dark chocolate with like a little burst of like this fruity sweetness in the middle. So good, just delicious, love them. All right, and then my last couple of favorites are vessels. Which one should I talk about first? I'll talk about this one first. Okay, so this is my thermos. It is by the company Built. I got it at Walmart. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I think it was around eight or $10. This is 20 ounces and it is the double vacuum sealed, you know, like a Yeti, but it's not a Yeti, it's a built. But this will keep water cold for like 12 hours. I'm not even kidding. I like to put ice water in here and carry it with me throughout the day. The ice will stay icy all day long and I can keep pouring water on top of it and it will keep the water cold so I can drink it because I cannot drink room temperature water unless I am dying of thirst. I prefer cold water. I know it's not as good for you and I know you should drink room temperature water or warm water. I like ice water and if it gets me to drink water, right? So anyway, I do love this thermos. It also will keep hot drinks hot for about six hours. Um, so sometimes I put coffee in this and take that to work with me if I need some coffee. 
Speaking of coffee, my last favorite for you today is my Beauty and the Beast coffee mug. So it's got beauty on this side, it's yellow, it's got the roses on it, and on the back right there it says, it's hard to be a beauty when mornings are a beast. I really love this mug. I don't know what it is about this mug. I don't know if it's the size of it or how much coffee it holds or what it, what it is about this mug that I just love so much. I would use this every day, honestly, for my coffee if I would hand wash it, but I'm kind of not into that. So it goes in the dishwasher. But I really do love this cup. I got this at Disney World. It is a licensed um, Disney Parks cup. I got it at, um, oh, Magic Kingdom, I think, is where I got this one. And I love it. It's my favorite coffee mug at the moment. It really is. All right, guys, that is all of my favorites thus far for the month of August my dance teacher favorites for the month of August. Stay tuned for more of these dance teacher favorites as I gather some of my favorite products together. I will be incorporating more and more dance stuff as the dance season progresses and we get into performance times, more makeup products, hair products, that kind of thing. So look forward to that. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you found any new products for you to try, leave any comments or questions you have for me down in the comment section. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Y'all have a beautiful day. Bye.